Welcome again. In previous tutorial, we have discussed about before filter method in CAG PHP. We also know how to change the layout for a controller, also for all controller. So in this tutorial, we will create this portion dynamically. So for that, I have already created a table called articles, and articles has five article, and this article table has five fields. ID, title, details, created and modified. We will fetch this data in here. We will see it in this content area. So let us start. So first you can see that this controller name is blocks controller. But our database table is called articles. So if we create a model for articles, then the model will be article model. But we are in blocks model so when we will create uh, a model for article then we have to uh, mention this or assign this in here in block controller that we will fetch the data for the articles for do this we have to create model for article table first so for that i'm going my terminal opening my terminal and then in here i'm going to give a single comment comment for create a model uh, for article table so for that i'm just changing my directory to cd bin and then i am giving a comment called cac back then model then name of my table so my table name is articles Then hit on enter articles should create now so after some moment we seeing that article model has created so if you go in source folder if you go in model there has two files has created one is in entity and one is in table so if you go in table you can see articles table in here i'm just going to Close this panel terminal panel you can see the article tables script in here and also it has created a entity called article okay fine so now we have to assign that we will use these articles from blocks controller so for additional model load we have to uh, use a function or method called load model and this load model we have to used in here that means we will load the model call article so for those for though this cac php has a good documentation in here i just shared this under this video description so here they have mentioned in a controller method we have to create a function called load model we will we have to call a function called load model and here we have to mention the name of our art uh, table name so i'm just going to do same things i'm going in my home method because we will do it in our home view this is the home view blocks is our controller and whose home is our action so in this home action i'm just typing this load model and then name of my table model name or table name so if you go in here you can see our table name in this model in this table is articles so spelling will be like a r t i c l e s articles same thing that has created for a table so after save we have to go in here we should see something when we we'll create a debug in here i'm just typing creating a debug this method actually provided by cac php and then save if you just exit in here use the exit and then go in your browser and then load you should see something like this and here you can see the table is articles used in here so we can go for our next step i'm just removing the debug and i am also removing this exit and now i'm just typing this 
articles then catfish has a method called find i'm using this find method and then here i'm typing all so now after save i'm taking this uh, all articles in a variable called article so now if you give debug articles in here and then save go in your browser so we are seeing a object in here so now we will set this or we will send these articles for our view so for that we have to use a method called set this set and first parameter the name of your variable it can be articles and the data that you have you, you want to send so i'm just copy this line paste it in here and then if you go in your view that's called template blogs and home.php in here i'm just going to check this first so i'm just typing here php tag and end of php tag and go to debug it in here so just type in debug and using this articles will with dollar sign and then exit in here so after save if you go in here and just reload our page you can see that that's there has an object so now we are able to view our uh, articles in here so how we can do this so you can see for this list group for this list group i have a title and a paragraph and this actually made it in this uh, a tag that's my anchor tag here is the deep for title here is a paragraph and here is a small portion that has for this line i'm just removing this now and now everything is okay now what we will do i will just create a for each loop in here and before that i'm just going to delete below two option two paragraph or two article uh, portion i'm just going to remove this from here to here because i need just one that's it now i have to give a for each loop in here so i'm using for each and then here i'm using the articles and the key and value you can see is article a single article and i'm just removing this and going to also remove this and giving here a colon and end of php tag and change it also and i will finish my php tag or for each in here php int for each then semicolon then end of php so now i will just take this article and i will put this in here this is called heading so i'm just removing it and just giving php tag with echo and giving article and here title and same thing i'm going to copy and paste it in here so that will be article and details so after say let's see it's working fine or not i'm just reloading the page so you can see that it is showing one two three four and five articles so in your database you can see there is the five database so you can see that's it's actually showing in ascending order so if you go in your uh, debug kit in here catfish has a nice feature called debug kit and if you go in sql log in here if you click click here you can see the query is showing in here so there is no any descending order so we want to see it in descending order so you how you can do this i am going back and in this find after this find i'm just giving an arrow sign and typing order and in this order i'm typing it array and here i'm just giving articles dot it can be id or it can be created any types of fields which you want to use for order i'm just using uh, 
okay this is spelling is mistakes with the articles and then id and giving a space and then typing desc that's for descending order uh, it should be uh, desc yeah after save so if you go and reload our page so you can see in descending order so now if you go here and go again in sql log you can see now it's order by descending order you can also use limit in here i'm just going to make it in another line so keep in here and then if you want to give a limit you just need to write like limit and here you have to give two or three how many uh, data you want to see in here so i'm just taking three so after reload you will see three data now so this is actually very uh, easiest way to find data from a, a table uh, in cac php but just think that if you if we have uh, 5000 or 10000 articles then what we will do so we have to use a pagination so in next tutorial i will speak about pagination so thanks for watching this tutorial welcome for the next